Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on importing data into SPSS from Excel and from comma delimited files. So I'm starting here with an empty SPSS data editor, and I'm going to bring up an Excel workbook that has data in it that I want to import into SPSS. So notice I have the Excel workbook here, and it has five worksheets. The one of interest is test data. The name is test data. And it has four variables. You can see up here in columns A, B, C, and D. These data are fictitious. And I'm going to start with the ID variable. So I have an ID variable here in column A, and there are 30 IDs from 1001 down to 1030. Then I have an independent variable. I've named treatment, and this independent variable has three levels, 0, 1, and 2. Now the 0, 1, and 2 all refer to a string, but I want to leave it in this format to import into SPSS. So after I get into SPSS, I'll attach that string to each level of the independent variable. So in this case, the 0 will be equal to CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, the 1 to psychodynamic therapy, and the 2 to treatment as usual. So we'll see how that works in a moment. And then I have two dependent variables, pretest and posttest. So I can see this workbook's name up here at the top, coefficient of variation. And again, this is the test data worksheet. So moving back to SPSS. I'm going to go to File, Read Text Data, and you can see by default it's going to bring up text here under Files of Type. I'm going to use this arrow and move to Excel. So from text to Excel, and as you can see I have several Excel files here in this folder. I'm going to select the file that contains the test data, and that's coefficient of variation, and click Open. Now notice here, in this next dialog, there is a checkbox here, Read Variable Names from the First Row of Data. I want to make sure that's checked off in this case, because I did have the variable names in the first row. And then for Worksheet, I want to select Test Data and then click OK. And notice it opens another instance of the data editor. So the entering data data editor that I originally started with is still here, and I have a new one. So the only thing I want to change here is I want to assign strings to these three levels of the independent variable. And I'll show you how to do that. Going to the variable view, so the bottom here we have data view and variable view. Going to the variable view, I'm going to go to values for that treatment variable. And it opens up a dialog. And here I can assign a label to each of the values. So I want to start with the value 0. And I want to label this one CBT. And click Add. And then value 1. And this would be psychodynamic and click Add, and the last one will be 2. This is the third level of the independent variable, and this will be treatment as usual, and then click Add. I'll click OK, and move back to the data view, and you can see that the numeric values are still visible here under treatment. If I go up to this A1 button, the Value Labels button, you can see now these strings that I associated with each level of the independent variable are displayed. Click it again, and the numbers are displayed again. So I'm going to close this data set and move to loading a CSV file. And when I close this, it's going to give me a warning asking if I want to save the changes. I'm just going to click No here. And now I'm back to this original data editor. If I go back to the Excel workbook, and I were to save 
this worksheet as a CSV file, comma separated values. And then open that in Notepad. It would look like this. So you can see I have ID, treatment, pretest, and post-test, just separated by commas, and all the values separated by commas in each row. These data can be loaded into SPSS as well, but it's a bit of a different procedure. So I'm still going to go to File, Read Text Data, except this time I'm not going to move up to Excel. I'm going to stay with text, and Test Data is the name of the file I want to load into SPSS. I'll click that, and then click Open. And SPSS opens up this text import dialog, and you need to go through each step to provide SPSS with the information needed to load your data in the correct format. Now, if you already have a predefined format, you can click Yes here and then select that. But if you don't, you just move through by clicking Next. So first it asks you how are your variables arranged. And we know in this case that they're delimited. Now, they're delimited with a comma, but we'll have an opportunity to specify that later. Here we're just choosing delimited or fixed with. Are the variable names included at the top of the file? In this case, they are. So notice how this display looks down here, where we have ID, treatment, pretest, and post-test all at the top. I click yes here, and now it's just the records below that. It treats the first row of data as the variable names, which is what I want. I click next. The first case of data in this case begins on line two, so I'm gonna leave that the way it is. Each line represents one case. So I'm going to leave that checked off. And I want all of the cases loaded. So all these values are going to stay the same. I'm going to click Next. And here's where I can specify what type of delimiter was used. By default, it's going to have comma checked off. So I'm going to leave that as default. And leave the text qualifier set to None. So you can see the data preview here this is how I'm going to want the data to look. So I'm going to click Next. Here you can change the specifications for variables by selecting them in the data preview. So you can see here variable name ID. I can move over and select treatment, pretest, post-test, and you can change the data format. So in this case I'm just going to leave all these variables in the numeric data format. Then click Next. So now we're at the final step. Before you click Finish, you have the option here of saving this file format for future use and to paste the syntax. But I'm just going to go here, look at the data preview, make sure it looks correct, and then click Finish. And again, a separate data editor is opened up. And you can see the data from the common delimited file loaded into SPSS. Just as was the case with Excel, loading data in through a CSV file, I still need to assign the strings to these levels of the independent variable. But it would be the same procedure that I used before for Excel. Just going to Variable View and clicking Values under the Treatment Variable and then putting the values in. I hope you found this video on importing data from Excel and a CSV file into SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.